on December 11, 1921. In the shadow of the Fort Worth stockyards, Mr. Fred Rouse, a black citizen, husband, father, and a non-union butcher at Swift & Company Meatpacking, was lynched at this site by a white mob. This is where the century-long hidden history was buried. And I've been in Dallas Fort Worth all of my you know, adult life, pretty much since I was 22, and never knew anything about the story. Never knew about the harrowing murder until last year, when the North Texas man got a call. It's like lightning struck. And after the storm, nothing was the same. They started telling me about my grandfather and how he was the only recorded African-American to be lynched in Tarrant County. What went through your mind? I think shock. I was in very much denial. I was angry, I was, I was mad, I was, uh, I was horrified at the same time, you know, I was, I was, um, I was embarrassed, you know, to, embarrassed. Have, to have to tell people or, or, or to know that this happened. Fred Rouse was beaten, stabbed repeatedly, left at the old county hospital next to Bass Hall, grasping for life. Five days later, a white mob dragged him out of the hospital and took him to the death tree left him riddled with bullets and hung him. No one was ever convicted of the crime. One word, hate. That is the word that triggers everything. Work is underway to undo the hate. The city, several nonprofits, and Rouse's grandson turned the murder site into a memorial. They're also transforming the abandoned building along Main Street. So this building was built in 1924 as the headquarters for the Ku Klux Klan here in Texas. It was built for the KKK. For the KKK here in Texas as the headquarters. We believe that members of the KKK were involved in the murder of Mr. Fred Rouse because of the manner in which he was murdered. The KKK building, once a symbol of hate, will be reborn. A future culture and art center filled with love, renamed after Fred Rouse. I think that's really what we're trying to get at is healing from the inside. I believe that when my grandfather gave up his life with his last breath, he spoke into the wind and he said, this is only the beginning. More than a hundred years later, standing high above the hatred, He's here to set things straight. His grandson, Fred Rouse III. And they thought they killed the name, Fred Rouse. They thought they killed the man, Fred Rouse. But 100 years later, Fred Rouse came back in the form of me. His blood came back, not on the ground, but in a body. And his name, everything, still lives on. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalba.